Welcome to Dave's Diaries in France. This is where I air my views and show you what it's like living in France from my perspective. I will cover do-it-yourself projects and garden management. Just remember, this is just a bit of fun. So let's begin. Ah, hello everyone. 123 subscribers. How amazing is that? I'm over the moon. Absolutely over the moon. Thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. By the way, it's Dave's Diaries in France. Uh, another quick video I'll, uh, I'm shoving out there right now. Again, I'm still working on it. Just to let you know that all of my videos that I put out there, they're not cut. They're just trimmed. So they're not cut at all. They're just trimmed at the start and at the end. So that's, uh, that shows you my editing capability which is not that good but i'm still learning um so it's, it's all good um uh, today's vlog i suppose because i'm having a, a um a quieter day i've just done some cooking which is for a ragu for uh, it's like a pasta sauce so i've done some of that this morning i've done uh, all the housework that the house needs uh, three loads of washing yeah i'm all good house duties done for today I was going to go out and do the lawn, but it's been raining in the morning and oh, I, I, I'm just doing this vlog right now. So I thought I would um, run through um, a few things that I like about France um, and uh, give you my opinion of, of what it is like, um, comparable to the UK, for example. Uh, the UK... Okay, we all love or used to love the UK and uh, still do uh, in some respects. But these are some of the things I like about France. Number one, I've written them down, you see, I'm looking down. Number one, the roads. Generally, the roads are comparatively quiet compared to the UK. Again, we live in rural France in the Mayenne region. The roads are generally quiet, um, apart from when you get to the main uh, conurbations, such as Laval. Laval is the centre, it's, it's the uh, tax centre of, of Mayenne. Um, it can be a pig sometimes in, in Laval, um, but you've just got to choose the right time. Generally, it's, um, it's great, free-flowing free the lot. And where we live, just out, outside of Mayenne town, very very quiet very mind you saying that where we've got a, a kilometer driveway and uh we see no one <laughs> which is lovely we can't hear any traffic no nothing just the odd low-flying military jet which i don't mind being ex-military uh, ex-air force um so comparatively quiet and the roads are in in generally good state um hardly any potholes on the main a roads what you would call a roads and b roads it's just when you get into the some of the little towns they've not been looked after um but that's a money thing a council and money thing number two the food uh the variety of food you get over here um it's it's not like the uk um but the food generally i love i love it over here um the, the quality of the food is very very good um the it, it's just differences subtle differences such as in the uk your sausages you buy sausages from the butcher and 30 percent 40 percent of them uh, isn't meat in france uh, i would say 100 percent is meat um so there's no uh what is it they put rusk in the uk in the sausages in in, in france they don't put anything it's just meat and and onions and me <laughs> so and uh my favorite sausages are, are the megares uh, they're the spicy um orangey colored um sausages uh that type of thing uh sausage meat you can get over it but again go go get it at your bushes it's it's good quality and it's good stuff and then you can mix it put some sage in it and stuff like that and make some sausage rolls um number three supermarkets 
supermarkets are amazing um, compared to the UK. Uh, they astound me now. Even now, we've been over here just over three years. Just under, just over three years. Uh, they are astounding on the quality and the sheer amount of produce that they've got. All the different meats, all the different um, vegetables. Um, my favourite store uh, for vegetables and, well, meats as well, is Grand Frais. It's absolutely amazing. It's a bit pricey above the, 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 the likes of uh, um, Super U or Hyper U or over here Hippo U or Super U and Leclerc. Leclerc is the um, is the main one, but you get your your core pieces from there. So your tin tomatoes, your arica ver, your your beans, your baked beans basically. You don't buy British baked beans over here. You go to, for your um your 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 beans equivalent of baked beans over here, and they're cheaper and they're better, slightly plumper. So the uh, supermarkets are astounding and. Um, yeah, uh, uh, the last guests we had ho we had over here, we took them to a supermarket and they were just, they didn't want to leave. <laughs> it was that good. Um, next, number four, wine. Wine is really, really cheap. Um, hence, my, my, my wife is a wine connoisseur. Me, I'm just a, a, um, a heathen when it comes to wine. I have no idea. Um, apparently I've got a, a woman's taste when it comes to drinking wine because I don't like top wine with a high tannin content, um, too dry. So my wife chooses the wine for me and she normally gets a crate. Um, the last wine tasting we went to, I got slightly pickled. She bought two crates. <laughs> So, but the wine is very, very cheap. Hence, if you want to pay a bit more, you can get a really, really good quality red or white or whatever it may be uh, for about uh, five euros. A really good quality. For your basics, your Cote de Rhone's, that type of thing, your Beaujolais, you can get it for as low as one one fifty uh, euros, that is. But the wine is astounding. Uh, culture. France has a, a, a huge culture. It is a culture. Um, it's it's amazing. The historical... Um, what am I trying to say here? Um, France has so much history that it needs to be explored. That is amazing. Over here, there's history on your doorstep. Uh, you only have to go just up the road to Mayen Town. So much history involved. And then you've got your local towns. La Say Le Chateau, that type of thing. That's what a lot of Brits like it there. That is a, that is beautiful. Um, so the, the the culture of of, of the local surroundings of, of where we live, it, it's it's astounding. I love it, absolutely love it, and it's just it's fascinating. And there's always access to um, English. So if you don't speak French. Um, nearly everything is doubled in, in English. So if it's written in French, nine times out of ten, it'll, it'll be written in English as well. Saint Suzanne, that's on the doorstep. That's amazing, that place. Absolutely amazing. Uh, that was number five. Number six. Countryside. Country, the countryside in France is, is beautiful. Um, in one part, you'll, you'll have rolling hills and meadows. And other parts, you have vast plains uh, where you can see for miles. Uh, south of Mayenne, uh, you you do see that a uh, lot of plains, not not low flying plains. I'm talking about grass plains and things like that. And um, then you've got uh, what are they? the the rolling hills as you come north uh, up to Mayenne and and beyond. It's it's. It's beautiful, uh, absolutely beautiful. Cycling, you can cycle, we're on the Mayan River, you can cycle on the Mayan River uh, for hundreds of kilometres, up north or down south. It's absolutely astounding. It's beautiful countryside, unspoilt and clean, <laughs> believe it or not. No fly tipping yet. Mind you, it is expected. Because the uh, local councils have started um, to issue uh, like access cards to the bins 
And if you haven't got an access card, you have to go to the Deschettery or to a, a department where you have got access to bins and you can dispose of your general household waste. Um, but it is on the way. So uh, French people, be warned. Learn by UK's mistake. Uh, number seven, laid back lifestyle. Yes, it is laid back. Their uh, working week is 35 hours a week in France, uh, sometimes less, sometimes a bit more, but it's generally 35 hours. They can ha have up to a two and a half hour lunch per day, uh, whereby they can go to a restaurant and uh, have some wine with some lunch and socialise and things like that. And it's a done thing over here. It really is a done thing. M my wife struggles with that now because she's used to work living and working in in the uk for 20 years and having a sandwich for lunch quick 20 minute sandwich then grind back to it over here no it's a thing it's a big thing so you go for lunch at 12 come back about 2 2 30 couple of glasses of wine and then crack on with your your job again it's a massive thing over here and um it is laid back and it's a whatever approach. What are they going to do? Sack me? <laughs> you can't sack anyone over here. Anyway, that's another story. Um, number eight. There's always something going on. Always. I mean, pe people, okay, in, in the week, generally, uh, people uh, are at home in the evenings, that type of thing. But every evening, there's something going on. Whatever area you live in, there's always something going on that you could go to in, in the evening. And it, it, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. And over the weekend, there's always something going on. And and that's what I like. Um, it's it's good to mix and and get out there. And I've, I've got to get out there. But I've been too obsessed on working and DIYing and renovations and things like that. I have to make time for this. We have to make time for this. So that's what, I, that's what I've got to do. Number nine. Access to his historical monuments. I can't even say that. Um, access to castles and um, monuments of, of historical nature and that type of thing in France is, um, it is very accessible. Uh, and nine times out of ten, you do not have to pay for it. Um, because um, I think there's a rule in the government that everyone should be able to access the historical monuments. A little longer than a few minutes later. I do apologise for the intermission. My camera decided, I must have said something that uh, turned it off, but um, I'm back again. So, access to historical monuments and that type of thing. Like I was saying, it's free. Nine times out of ten, it's free. The odd one uh, every now and again is Mont Saint-Michel. I think you have to pay something to get in there, but it's not very expensive. But I would recommend going to Mont Saint-Michel. It's astounding. I've been there a couple of times. And it, it, it's it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. So you, if you want to go somewhere like that, um, look it up, see how much it costs. It doesn't normally cost anything. But And again, the only thing you'll have to pay for is the little translation thing that you put in your, in your ear. And that's something like €2.50 or €3.50. And you hand it back at the end of the day. Um, and it's, it's great. It's fantastic. And number 10. Uh, I didn't think I'd say this, but income tax. Um, income tax is high, but... The thing is, it, well, from what I'm told, or what my wife tells me, it's calculated, if you're a married couple, it's calculated by both of you, joint incomes. Um, so in our situation, I don't earn anything. Chloe earns a set amount, but we're a couple, so we're taxed as a couple. Um, so I believe, I believe that our tax income tax is very low, um, which gives us some perks. That is a good thing. I think that really is a good thing. Everything else, uh, tax-wise, it's expensive. But you're living in France. You're you're in Europe. You've got access to so many countries on your doorstep. If we want to, if we want to go to Italy for the weekend, we can. With that, we can just drive there. 
or just jump on a plane well no we'll probably drive there um austria germany um spain spain um they're on our doorstep it's 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 why wouldn't you um so yeah and this is why this is there are my 10 things in fact i've probably said 11 but there are my 10 things that i really like about france oh i'm sorry i'm looking a bit tired yeah i've been working myself to the bone but you know we're getting there anyway i'm gonna love you and leave you and uh i will put another vlog up very soon we're not on fiber yet so again it takes me 24 hours to upload a, a 10 minute video so bear with me uh thank you for subscribing if you haven't subscribe subscribe hit the bell send me a message give me a like whatever you know um and you know i'll i'll try harder and shove these videos out anyway uh Take care, everyone. This is Dave signing off. Ta-ta for now.